welcome to Lana's training video. So um, in these next few videos, I'm just gonna go over what she's been working on. I'll show you the hand cues, and this is so you can practice at home, okay? So the first few days at home, she may be a little tired. Um, you know, she's been playing a ton here, and so there's an adjustment period going from here to home, um, but keep working with her, right? train with her daily and this first week is probably the most important when she gets back home um towards the you know training every day and working with her when you work with her it does not need to be long lessons it can be short lessons good girl it could be a little um you know five minutes here ten minutes there you take her for a walk and you're practicing on the walk so it doesn't always have to be you know this like super structured time so uh, one thing I will say that she just did, you know, I'm standing here talking to the camera and we know Ms. Lana is a jumper, right? And so she came up, she could have jumped up on me, but she didn't. She came up and she sat. So I petted her and I treated her because I want to give her feedback for making the right choices. So even here, um, she got a bone and she's laying down chewing on the bone, right? She could be barking out the window. She could be, well, actually, I think she did pick up a kid toy, but when she makes the correct choices, we wanna praise her for that. So I could even like toss a treat for her chewing on the right bone. I could come over and just tell her what a good girl she is. Um, but the idea here is just to make sure to acknowledge when she's giving you the right behavior and the, the good behavior, don't just take it for granted. So um, give her feedback, good girl, just like that, right? For her choosing to come up and sit instead of jumping. So when I say reward, a reward is anything she'll work for. So like this bone right here, she, she likes this big chewy bone. She always seems to target it when she comes in. Good girl, so that can be the reward is you do sit down, watch me, go park it, and maybe you get your bone in, right? So we call it the nothing in life is free plan. So you do something to get something. Um, that would mean having her sit down, all the behaviors to maybe go out the door or to put her leash on, or before you pet her, or before you let her out of the crate, um, just looking for calm behavior. So um, when we're training, when you're actually giving the cue, I want you to say the word first and then hand signal second, okay? So it would look like sit, palm up. So word and then hand cue. When it's a new behavior, it's really helpful to mark the behavior when she gets it right. So you can mark it by saying yes. Uh, later on down the road, you can say good girl and praise her, but the yes helps her know, bam, it was that movement right there and that's the one that's getting you the treat. So when we were first learning down, if I would say down, when she'd hit the down all the way, I would say yes and treat. Once she's really good at the behaviors, the, the marker can go away. You don't need it. But um, I think when you first start training with her, it will be helpful to tell her yes, when she gets the cue right, and then always follow it with an actual food reward. So uh, we'll go through the first couple of behaviors. So, uh, watch me is one of our first ones and watch me is eye contact on cue. The idea is if you're looking at me, you're thinking about me and it's a really good warm up behavior. You'll hear me saying it a lot throughout these videos because I'm just trying to get her focused on me. So I'll attempt to get it while she's chewing on a bone. That may be too much. Lana, watch me. Yes. <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And then she could go back to chewing the bone because I'm not asking for anything else. So watch me is eye contact, right? So I think if she is looking down at her bone, good girl, that's where her mind is, right? Her mind is on the bone. If she's looking out the window, that's where her mind is. But if she's looking at me, I know she's ready to move on and do more training and, and go to the next step. So super easy behavior, but very important. So I want you to practice that one a lot. Hand cue is fist to chin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the bone from her so we can focus. Um, I did not do a ton of drop it, but if I was going to take something like this yummy bone, I'm not just going to be a jerk and be like, give me the bone. I'm going to exchange with her, right? Um, so I can say drop it, but I am going to take a treat and exchange. So Lana, drop it. Yes, good girl. She gets a cookie. I take the bone. She's like, oh, that's a 
such a good one. All right, so I'm just gonna run through the behaviors and I'll talk to you about them. Wanna watch me? Yes. Okay, so I was looking for her eyes to connect with me. On the watch me, she can sit, she can lay down, she can stand, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. Sit. Good girl, down. Good girl, Lana. Watch me. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Good. Okay. Good. Lana. Lana. Lana, touch. Do you want to treat a hole? Lana, touch. There you go. Touch. Yes. Good girl. Now, um, when I'm doing treats, when I'm giving treats, you can use her dog food, right? So you can have her dog food in there. Um, I have these little meaty treats and I can send you what they are, but even these I'm going to tear into small pieces. Um, if she was doing something that was really hard, I might do what's called a jackpot. So maybe we are working on a behavior and she's not getting it. She's not getting it. And then bam, she finally gets it. I might give her several treats. as a jackpot. We give her several really good treats, but you can still keep them very small. It doesn't have to be a big one. So wanna watch me. Yes, good girl, eye contact. But if she stood and did it, totally fine. So this is stand. Yes, good girl. Good girl. She's gotta throw in her little tigger jumps in there. So, watch me, fist to chin, right? You could do little moves side to side and let her follow you. Ask her to do a watch me while she's in a down, while she's in a stand. Uh, randomly ask her to do it. Sit, is palm up. Okay, so palm up, down, palm down. Okay, if say you do that and she like doesn't know what you're doing, it's okay to bend over a little bit more, but our goal is to stand up straight. But when you get her home, you're not me, and so you're gonna do things a little bit different, and so she may feel a little confused right at first. So um, it's okay to, to lure the behavior, be a little over dramatic. If she had a really good, good girl, good girl. If she had a really hard time with it, you could put the treat in your hand and help lure just a few of them, okay, to get her back on track. Um, and at any point, if you can't get her to do something that I was able to get her to do, let me know and we'll work through it. So I'm just gonna run through those again so you can see them. Touch is a nose bump to your hand, right? It's where she comes up. It's a way uh, to get her to focus on you, right? It's kind of like the watch me. It also gets her close to you. It can be an alternative way to call her to come. Uh, I like to use it a lot if we're out at like a shopping center or a park where there's so much stuff going on. Because if she's doing a bump to my hand, that's where her focus is, right? So it's an action behavior um, that can keep her focused on me. So Lana, touch. Yes. Missed my hand a little bit. She'll like bop me right there, but that's okay. Touch. Good girl. We'll do a couple. Touch. Yes. And all these behaviors, so when you first do them, you I want you to treat each behavior, right? Go ahead and reward it. But as she gets better, you're going to start chaining the, we we'll call it chaining them together, right? So maybe you do touch, watch me, sit down, stand, sit, one treat. Good girl, okay. All right, Lana, touch. Good girl. Sit. Down. Good girl. Stand. Yes. Good. Um, another little tip when you're doing these, look where you want her to go. So if I'm doing touch, I'm not just putting my hand out and looking this way. I'm gonna do touch, but I will look at my palm. If I'm doing down, I'm gonna look down. And the dogs are really good at catching on to our body language. They're actually probably catching on to things we don't even know we're doing. Um, but that's dogs. They speak with their body, not with their voice. Sit. Down. Good girl. Good girl. Watch me. 